It's uh, Andy Parker at uh, Cooper Parry, just uh, coming into the end of the year, into December, and uh, an extraordinary year uh, yet again for both us at Cooper Parry as a business, deals generally across the marketplace. Uh, we've seen a rebalancing of things from the uh, unusual 2022 with Russia invading Ukraine, sending energy prices soaring, uh, the economy uh, into a little bit of a, a challenge, inflation rising. Then we had Truss, Kwarteng, crazy economics, uh, which created a real a real problem for the UK market. 2023 has seen a, a, a stabilisation, I think, on that, and, and more recently, interest rates uh, flattened off uh, to a large extent, I believe. We're probably going to expect a small reduction next year and over the next couple of years. But that is sort of, uh, along with inflation, back down to sort of uh, four and a bit percent, creating a more stable environment for deals to continue into the new year. Uh, it's not great market, but it's also not bad that everybody actually understands where we are. And you can start planning for the future. We look at five, 10 year swap rates coming down a little bit, but not dramatically. So we'll expect it to be pretty similar throughout the next couple of few years in the marketplace. And that gives us an opportunity to sort of plan ahead and get things right. What we're seeing uh, in for buyers, well, the large ticket deals tend to drop away when there's a period of uncertainty in the marketplace. Um, but the mid-market where we operate, um, deals continue and that's been the case for us we've completed six deals so far this year we've got another two to close before christmas and a decent pipeline of new opportunities going into the new year so actually not a bad position to be in cooper parry as a whole uh, is a great example of having taken on private equity backing with waterland um, and having done six deals this year with bolt-on acquisitions and that's something that we very much see happening into the new year, that PE will continue to uh, work with the existing platforms they have. It's, it's lower risk, they know the businesses, and support them with bolt-on acquisitions that help to uh, grow the business um, and uh, generate a, a, a bigger business, bigger EBITDA for when they exit and when timing is better for a larger deal to exit. So into 24, I think it'd be a good steady year, an average year, probably. Not a, not the most exciting, but certainly not a depressing, challenging year like we've seen in the past.